Hello students, welcome to another Method Man episode where today you will be learning how to round with decimals. If you haven't done so, I would memorize this place value chart that I provided for you, especially the decimals part, because that's what we're going to be doing today. If you missed the video on rules for rounding and rounding whole numbers, click on this video right here. It will only take you five minutes to learn it. So let's go right ahead and round some numbers with decimals in it. All right, let's tackle this first one together. Round to the nearest tenths. First thing you must do is identify what's in the tenth spot, which is this number two right here. Take a look at the number to the right of it. If it's four and below, we just drop everything off and it's easy sailing. If it's five and above, the place value that you're rounding to goes up by one. So it is a five and above. That two is gonna change into a three. Everything for the most part in the left of it stays the same, so that's 10.3. Then everything else turns into a zero. I don't have to write zeros right here. That's not going to change anything, so it's just 10.3. Round to the nearest hundredths. Identify what's in the hundredth spot, which is this five right here. Take a look at the number to the right of it. That's a four and below, so this five does not change. We'll keep that as a five everything to the left of it usually stays the same. So it's just 10.25, pretty easy. Let's keep going. Round to the nearest thousands, tenths, hundreds, thousands. Underline it, look at the number to the right of it. That's four and below, everything just drops off. Five and above, that changes that seven to an eight. So it's a three, everything just drops off. The seven remains as a seven. Don't make that mistake of changing that seven to a six because a lot of people, when they hear round down, changes that seven to a six. It just stays the same. Eight is just an eight, nine, zero. So it's a 0 0.987. Round to the nearest 10 thousandths. Remember your place values, tenths, hundredths, thousandths, 10 thousandths. Underline it. Look at the number to the right. That's four and below. So that just turns into a zero. I end up getting 2.0000, which is the same thing as two. That's it. Pretty easy, right? Let's try one on your own. First one, round to the nearest thousands. The second one, round to the nearest ten thousands. Pause the video, try it out. You don't have to write the number. Maybe you can just write the answer. When you are ready for a solution page, unpause the video and check the solutions. Here are your solutions. First one, round to the thousandths. Thousands place is this four right here. I take a look to the right of it. That's a five and above, which changes that four into a five. Everything to the left usually stays the same. In this case scenario, it does. So 1,290.985. Last one, extra credit round. If you got this, then you will ace your test. Round the number to the nearest 10 thousandths. So that's tenths, hundreds, thousands, ten thousandths. Underline that nine. So a nine are the special case scenarios where you might have to carry a place value over. I take a look to the right of that nine, it's an eight, which changes this nine into a 10. I can't write a 10 over there, so I have to carry one over. This eight just disappears because we're rounding. Zero is just a zero, so that disappears. But well, one plus nine turns into a 10. So I write, I have to write a zero right here, carry another one, then I have to do it again. One plus nine is a 10, another zero, carry that one, put a one right there. One plus zero is a 1.0. 0. 0. 0.100 0. 0 is the same thing as 0. 0.1. The zeros doesn't change that value. If you got that answer, then you know how to round, help other students out. If you don't, rewatch this video and watch the first one, and I guarantee by the second time you watch it, you will understand. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Click on this video here for some math wraps, and if you wanna check out some mental math videos, click on this video here. I will see you later. Peace.